Textbook will say Archaeopteryx is evidence for evolution. Archaeopteryx is a bird, okay? Alan Fiducia, University of Chapel Hill, North Carolina, one of the world's experts on, he believes in evolution, but he says, paleontologists have tried to turn Archaeopteryx to an earthbound feathered dinosaur, but it's not, it's a bird, a perching bird, and no amount of paleo babble is going to change that. years ago, I said, Lord, I'm not going to copyright my stuff. My name is Kent Hovind. I taught high school science for 15 years. To make it even more interesting, if we had our ladder from here to Chicago, and we twisted it and twisted it and twisted it, and as you, like if you do a rubber band, you get it tighter and tighter, and pretty soon it starts to double knot, you know, it's, it starts to loop again, okay? Similar idea. We're going to take this long ladder from here to Chicago and split it all the way down the middle. Each one of the rungs of the ladder is going to be cut in half, all the way from here to Chicago, while it's twisted. It is going to unwind from the other half. So we have two half ladders. That's going to join up with the other half ladder from your husband or wife, wind itself back together from here to Chicago, and make a child. You're a moron. was a common impression. Why is that? Part of the intentional strategy of the anti-evolution movement, what Philip Johnson from Berkeley called the wedge strategy, is to portray evolution as being anti-God. And Johnson said the objective of the intelligent design strategy is to convince people that Darwinism is inherently atheistic. That'll shift the debate from creation versus evolution to the existence of God versus the non-existence of God then we can introduce people to the truth of the Bible, the question of sin, and finally introduce them to Jesus.
think you have the right to face your accusers, obviously. If somebody's saying, I don't have a PhD, then I want you to, you know, come face me face to face and let's talk about it, okay? Give me a chance to defend myself. Ironically, when Hoven did face his accusers, they put him in jail for 10 years for being a fraudster. 